churches have failed on people. That's what I said to our black men. You are the lowest state and you are the greatest thing God ever created. That's what I said for you men and come back in your place. Rule this earth like God made it for you to do. If you're not as real, you ain't no kin to me. If you don't fit the 12, then you my enemy. We are in the land of our captivity. Someday we going home, so you best believe. If you're not as real, you ain't no kin to me. If you don't fit the 12, then you my enemy. We are in the land of our captivity. Someday we going home, so you best believe. Open your eyes, time to awake. We make up the torch as of Israel today. We the real Jews, make no mistakes. They in our homeland, they phony, they faking. It ain't about color, it's more about race. God chose a nation to rule in this place. Jacob, he love, he saw, he hate. You find that in Malachi, one of verse trade. Trade, threats, you know, three. Jerusalem is a motherland, above and it's free. There's Galatians, Quattro, B, A, B, C. Get it, got it, a friend, they capiche. If I got a fast for a couple of weeks, just to get the kingdom, then I will let it be. I am keeping the laws, I keep every beast. Keep every Sabbath break, bread than I drink Who's ready for Passover 2016 in the month of a day Where we gather in me, there's a whole lot of laughter We dance and we sing, I'm living for seven days out the week Can't wait to see what the elders gon' teach Pull out my Bible, then pull out my seat That's a spiritual food, don't have a teach Some say truth hurts, read it and weep If you ain't tryna hit me, then move up the street When I exit your city, I dust up my feet Lace up my boots, that's equipped with them cleats Lift up my voice like a trumpet in street You can see my zeal, hear my zeal, all in my speech See that I'm serious, I don't show no teeth We are imperial to find that and read And cannot be numbered like sandal Where's the black man at that's looking for salvation? Where's the strong black man at that's gonna rule his household? Where are you at? We're looking for you. Brother, I can't hear you. Come over here. Show him. 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 Deuteronomy uh, chapter 20 verse 4. Well, I tell you my way of fighting. My I'm gonna show, I'm show you what God. You, you asked a question. Let, you asked okay, a question. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 20 and 4. Deuteronomy right. chapter 20 verse 4. Read. For the Lord your God is He that goeth with you. Read. To fight for you. To do what? To fight for you. When you keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, He's gonna fight for you. Amen. Give me, Amen. give me Zechariah chapter 14 verse 3. I'm gonna show you who He's gonna fight. Okay. Uh -huh. Since you asked the question, we gotta come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. You said, how are we going to fight? It's not hands up, don't shoot in the street. It's not going against the other nations, okay? It's coming back to God's law. Yes, Amen. Right. Amen. Zechariah Amen. chapter 14, verse 3. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 3. Read on. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. Read that part again. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. When we come back to the knowledge of who we are according to the Bible, the so-called blacks, Spanish, and native Indians, and come back to God's laws, okay? I read that part again. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. That's who's going to fight for us, okay? Yes. I God's going to fight for us. Amen. Okay? But we have, to, we have to be maintaining that integrity of truth. What is the truth according to the Bible? Okay. But the truth to be pure in heart, pure in mind. What is pure according okay. to the Bible? Well, if you're clear and you follow, okay, he gave us the Ten Commandments, right? There's before more to before more to in the Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. he gave a specific order how okay. to live according to his way. Okay. And when you don't live according to his way, when you don't live according to his way, okay. he taught you what was going to happen, correct? Okay. Well, so it's already written, correct? It's already written. So we're gonna and we're gonna read it. Mm -hmm. Give me a give me give me the truth. Psalms 119. You can't live according to truth, right? Psalms this, 119. This is the truth. With integrity. This is the truth. With integrity. This is the, and this goes all into integrity and being pure as well. Go ahead. Psalms 119, verse 142. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, mm -hmm. and thy law is the truth. The law is what? And thy law is the truth. The law is the truth. Give me uh, Psalms 19, uh, 19, verse 8. Now you said pure, right? Yes, okay. pure in heart. Pure, pure in heart. Mind. So truth is co coming back to God's laws. That's what we. That's all we're talking about. We want our people to repent of their sins because sin. Yes. Sin. What is sin according to the Bible? Well, according to the Bible, everything that separates you from God. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get pure. Okay. Psalms 19. Eight. You said pure. Now you see, we're asking all your questions according to the Bible. Okay? Amen. Amen. Not, we're not coming out with our own private interpretation. My brother, I'm not ignorant. Okay. I, I'm a, a, 
I just but, the Bible. Go ahead. Go ahead. In Psalms 19 and 8. Psalms 19, verse 8. Read. The statues of the Lord are right. Read. Rejoicing the heart. Mm -hmm. The commandment of the Lord is pure. Is what? Is pure. The commandments, meaning his laws, are pure. Okay. Amen. Okay. So give me, I'm gonna show you though, you saying pure in in truth, okay? Let's see if you're pure in truth, okay? Give me Numbers chapter 15, verse 38, okay? Because we all we uh, out here to do is teach our people <coughs> to come back to God's laws, okay? Let's show a law. I'm going to show you a law so you can be pure and in truth that you need to repent from and to start to do. Give me Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. And bro, this is, this is love, meaning... If I'm in error, I would want you to show me something I'm in error in, okay? But can, can I ask another question? After this question right here. Okay. I'm going to show you that you to be pure and true, this is what it is. Numbers 15, verse 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. The children of Israel are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, according to the Bible. Okay, we lost our identity, and we were slain and put under all nations, and they gave us a Gentile mentality. Right. That we're believing that we're okay. something else, according wait, wait. to the Bible. Hold on. Read right. on. Go ahead, go ahead. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments Read on. throughout their generations. Throughout their generation? That's what it says? Throughout their generations. That means forever. Read on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, mm -hmm. and it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it. And do what? And remember Read. all the commandments of the Lord. So remember to do what? All the commandments of the Lord. So, brother, you see all of us up here with fringes with a border of blue to remember to do all the commandments of the Lord. Okay? What do you consider yourself today? I, I was talking about the so-called black and Spanish okay, Navy. Well, most of the all my life I've considered myself a human. Okay. Okay, because I've seen the abuse of ignorance by flags mm -hmm. and by colors. Okay. But I got a question for you. Okay. Is Jesus Christ true or not? Yeah, go and get, get, get that for me. Okay. We'll give you according to the Bible, okay? I'm just asking you. You're, you're asking a question. Okay. I'm not going to come out with my own thought. Everything that you ask us thus far, okay, mm -hmm. is according to God's word. Okay? That's right. We're going to ask, we're going to, we're going to ask, we're going to answer, we're going to answer this question, then I got a question for you, okay? Go ahead. Read that. John chapter 14, verse 6. Bring it out. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way. I'm the what? I am the way. No, Obama is the way. I am the way. No, uh... Um, Obama's the way? Jesus saith unto him. So Christ says this, read. Amen. I am the way, the truth, the truth and the life. And the life. Mm -hmm. yes. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Okay, so Amen. now since we answered your question, you say you are a human, okay? Yes. What is your father? What was your father? What, what, what is your father? My father, mm -hmm. by birth, by the flesh. Mm -hmm. What did your father, what did your father call, you, call himself? Geronimo. I'm sorry? Geronimo. Perhaps. Nationality. Nationality. You know what nationality means? He's come from Puerto Rico. He's come from Puerto Rico. Yes, okay. Okay. So your 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 uh your father mm -hmm. considered himself to be a Puerto Puerto Rican, okay? Yes, yes. Well according to the Bible, okay, since you're from your father, okay, mm -hmm. according to the Bible that on this sign right here, you see Puerto Rico on there? On one side right here, these are the uh biblical names of the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? But something happened in history where we broke God's laws and we were separated, like we were reading earlier, and we were scattered to all nations. That, that was hold on, Babel, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that you're speaking of? Hold on, no, no it's not, sir, no it's not. And the other nations conquered us and gave us the name, like Puerto Rico, okay? okay? What does Puerto Rico mean? Puerto Rico, what is port it and rich. So are you a rich port? Well, at that time, they considered it poor and rich. Well, we look on a map today, that's what they still consider, <coughs> okay. Puerto Rico. Or you consider yourself a port of riches. But, well, do your family find riches in different ways. I, I'm rich because I'm still here in the land of the living. Now, what's happening to Puerto Rico now, we understand was the manipulation of what you're speaking of, okay? I understand what you're trying to say. Okay, then. But, but. But what? We gotta understand why Jesus came to the earth. Okay, let's see what how, what Jesus how, what he came because to the earth. Because I don't to do. mind. I don't mind. Believe me. Let's go what, to the New Testament. What, what is happening? Okay. To join. Okay, brothers. <coughs> you who speak the truth. Okay. Fifteen twenty-four. Okay. You understand? Who stand by truth and die by truth? Okay. Because that's what I'm willing. Then 15, and I've been doing okay. it by myself. Okay, I've been speaking truth. Okay. And try to live in integrity of the truth. Well, just like we just read to you, uh, 
The truth is, is God's law. If you're not speaking God's laws, there's no truth in you, according to the Bible, okay? So, let's I wish, continue to answer your question. Go ahead. So, you said about Christ, okay? Mm, go ahead. Let's read this in the New Testament, Matthew Ma 1 21. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Read. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Read. For he shall save his people. No, all people. His people. Christ's people are the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. right. Amen. Amen. Read. Amen. From, he shall save his people from their sins. From their sins. From their sins? From their sins. Give me 1 John 3 and 4. Okay, we're going we're gonna to see what the sin is because. We've been out here teaching our people that they got to come back to keep God's laws, okay? And to repent, meaning to stop breaking God's laws. Give me first John 3. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. Just like we read Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Since you are actually from the tribe of Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, uh -huh. you have to come back to God's laws to get the kingdom. God's laws and the faith of Christ. That's right. right. Give me Matthew 15 and 24. Now, L let me get, hold up. Christ let said, hold on, Christ no, I'm said. I'm not going nowhere, hold up. Hello? Christ said that he came for his people. Nah, I can't tell you. Give me Matthew chapter 15, 15 verse 24. Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. Read. But he answered and said, Read. I am not sent, but Unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Of the house of who? Of the house of Israel. His people is from the house of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. That is who Christ came for. That's right. So as a so-called Puerto Rican, you have to come back to God's laws. According to the Bible, you are from the tribe of Ephraim. That's right. Of the nation of Israel. That's right. Brother, area. hey brother. Yes, my brother. Oh, you, he talk. Hey, you got. Hey, brother. Estos son los muchachos. Brother, you got any questions? Oh, no, yeah, hey, no, I, I got this. Hey, bro, you don't got no question? Can, okay, can I can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Okay. Hey, brother, where you where you from, man? What do you consider yourself? What's your nationality? <clears throat> you're Baptist. That's a religion. What what are you? What is your father? What do you consider yourself? Are you African American or black? Black. You black? What what land of black are you from? Is that a, is that where you from? A land of black? No. That's a color, brother. Wait, what do you consider when you do an application? What do you mark on the application? African American? Well, can I show you something on the side right here, brother? Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. ben. By you considering yourself a so-called African American, okay? According to the Bible, the so-called African Americans are from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Okay. Do you know what African American means? African American is named after two continents, after two no, white men. Leo Scipio Africanus. Okay. He put his name on the continent of Africa, which was actually called the land of Ham. Okay. Bring it out. And uh, what's the Italian navigator? Americo Americo Vespucci. Okay. He put, he's an Italian navigator. He put his name on this on this uh, continent right here. Okay. So you're not from the lineage of two so-called white men, okay? So you're not African-American. So what we're trying to tell our people, we broke God's laws, we went into slavery under all nations, okay? They gave us the Gentile name like African-American. They gave his people the Gentile name as Puerto Rico because we broke God's laws and the, God sent our enemies to conquer us, okay? Because the so-called white man, when he came as Spain, conquered them. Right. and said, hey, this is who you are today, Puerto Rico. So the so-called blacks here came on slave ships. Did you know slavery is in the Bible? Did you know that? Slavery is in the Bible? Mm -hmm. You know that. Do you know that, brother? Yeah. Okay. Let's get Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy again. chapter 28, verse 15. Okay. But it shall come to pass Read. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God says, we are, the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians are God's chosen people. Right. Who are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. That is your biblical name, Israel, okay? He said, if you do not listen to 
the voice, which is the Bible right here. Okay, read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. All the what? All his commandments. He said, if you don't obey to do my commandments, my laws, read. And his statutes, read. Which I command thee this day, read on. That all these curses, read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Give me Amos 3, Amos, Amos chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. So, the curses came upon us. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. It just depends on what kind it is. Okay. <laughs> According to the Bible, curse is a bad thing. We're going to get that out of the Bible, okay? Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So the children of Israel are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Right. Read on. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, say, Read. you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Read that part again. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. The gods of this Bible only known the so-called Israelites. That's, That's right. right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Read right. that again. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. A curse is a punishment. Go back. A curse, that's what a punishment is. <clears throat> when you break God's laws, that means you are sinning against God. Okay? That's the punishments that we're in today. So we're going to go to a punishment that happened to us since we uh, broke God's laws. Give me verse 68. Verse 68. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop. So... You've probably seen the movies, right? Where the children of Israel walked out of Egypt. <clears throat> seen, seen those movies go? Okay. So the Bible's saying, if you break my laws, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. Okay? Exodus 22. Exodus oh, chapter... Okay. It's brother. You understand that? Yeah, I understand. Okay, so do you know what the word Egypt means? No. Nah. Okay. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna go to a precept to show you what Egypt means according to the Bible. Okay? Check it out. We're not coming with our own profitation. We're going, thus say the Lord. Right. 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 Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Read. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. The house of what? House of bondage. Egypt is synonymous to bondage. When you look in a regular dictionary, it's going to tell you that Egypt means bondage, okay? Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. This is what happened to it. He said, if we don't keep these laws, these curses, these punishments are going to come upon us and overtake us, okay? Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Bondage meaning slavery again since we broke his laws. Read. With ships. With what? With ships. Brother, you know a little bit of history. Who are the people that went on cargo slave ships? Who, who are the people that went on cargo slave ships? Look at the right there, brother. Pictures are worth a thousand words. Okay, you can go look at any movie. You can search this on the internet, okay? God says the people that he gave the laws to, if they did not keep the laws, I'm going to bring you back into slavery again with ships, okay? There's no other nation on the earth that can make that claim. Okay. God said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Right. Our people have been taught lies. Okay. Bring that out again. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again Slavery. with, again with ships. Slavery again with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. By the way, Moses said it was going to happen if you don't keep God's laws. That's exactly how it happened. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. To your friend. Your enemies. You sure that's, that's my friend across the street. Sold to who? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold unto our enemy. Right. right. That's why our people are astonished that's right. and blind today. Right. Because they don't know who their enemy are according to the Bible. That's right. Read. For bond men, for slave men, and bond women, and slave women, free. Right. And no man shall buy you. And we have not been saved out of this captivity yet. Right. That's right. You must come back to God's laws That's right. and to repent. That's right. Give me First John chapter one verse nine. With, 
First John chapter 1 verse 9 verse verse 9. First John chapter 1 verse 9. Read. If we confess our sins. If we confess our sins. That's what we're going over. We just showed the brother that he was out of error because he has no fringes with a border of blue. When you see that the sins that you're in, you're like, oh, okay, um, I'm in error here. If we confess our sins, read. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. You see that? He can forgive us of our sins once we repent. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.